Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and now, yes. Uh, <laughs> now we can see our faces. I know that you wanted to show that beautiful view. It's really yeah, of course. <laughs> How are you? All good? Fine. And you? Very good, very good. It's a beautiful day good. outside also. Perfect. In which city of Germany you are? Sorry, again? In which city of Germany you are? Uh, Koblenz. Sorry? Koblenz. 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 It's uh, <laughs> between uh, Cologne and Frankfurt. Oh, okay. okay. So like this, it's easier. Uh, possible? Yes. Nice. Hello, Ina. How are you? Hello. Fine, fine. Thank you. Good. I'm tired. <laughs> Why? A little bit tired, yes. Why? I had the whole weekend on um, training and trainer training. Oh, uh, really yes. sportive and really, yeah, yeah. Really much of power, yes. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. But yeah. because something special or? Um, it, uh, it's mm -hmm. calling Precletics. And okay. it's uh, something new here. I never heard about that. It's uh, for sport, for uh, giving also courses. Um, yes, um, workout. Okay. So you are training in order that you can train others also to do that sport? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Good. So you are doing a, a formation. So that's a good thing. Change. Yeah, it's uh, something another, something special. And um, I will try to give courses maybe at school, maybe also at our uh, gym. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, good. Nice. So let's start from, from that position because even the people that know you and that they are watching us, they know Jens and Ina from the Kinzorm and Dancing Environment. But you, you have different backgrounds. I would like now to, we would like now to, to listen a little bit of each one of you and you do a little bit of a presentation of who are Jens and who are uh, Ina outside of the dance world, <laughs> where you come from, your backgrounds, a little bit like five minutes each one of you to meet you better. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> super. <laughs> um, yeah. Who is Ina? <laughs> um, I have a normal Wait. job. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm working all the time. Evening. Um, what were your studies? So, what? So see if I can help you. What were your studies? In what uh, uh, subjects you were studying? Oh, can you make it loud, please? I don't know. No. So, what did you learn? Oh, um, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um, in, mm. in English, mechanical and drawing. Draw, mechanical draw. Yes, yes. Mechanical what? Mechanical draw. Drawing. It's... Drawing. You know what? Uh... Uh, drawing. Drawing. Wow. Oh, oh we nice. Interesting. But did you um, work on that area or you just studied in that area? For buildings, you know, with, with uh, CAD program, CUT. Okay, CUT, I know that. Uh, yeah. That's... Oh, so good, so nice. <laughs> Google Translation. Google Translation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. AutoCAD, AutoCAD, yeah, the name of the program that you were using. Um, yeah, it's... Um... But did, did you work? Did you work in that area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. still working? Not, yeah, not the same uh, um, part I look off. Not for private houses, private uh, buildings. It's more for for an industry, refractory. Okay. This, uh, it's um, more. Um, yeah. Um, it's for, for burning. Rot when you... Rotary killing uh, um, and such like this. It's, 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 I don't know how it's called. Um, <laughs> In English. Are, you, are you an engineer or it was another kind of degree? Engineer? Uh, technician. Technician, yes. Technician. Okay, technician. Okay, okay. Good. And you, Jens, what were your studies? In what you, you made it's your degrees? Nearly the same, but for the electrician side, I make uh, also a uh, technician for, for electrician. And I make drawings for for paper and, uh, industry okay. to, to measure the paper. When when the paper would produced, you must know which color has the paper or 
how weight is it, how much moisture is inside, and we build the uh, measurement instruments. And for that, I do the drawings. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, and you keep doing this? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you have another kind of profession extra, the dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and which one is that? Uh, this is uh, to train uh, judo. I do this since uh, over 30 years. Sure. And now, since I think, oh, yeah, more than 20 years, I train kids. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's a passion because the kids are beautiful. Mm -hmm. From each, well, what age uh, that you train the kids? Um, it starts nearly six. Nice. It goes to, I, I trained also the, the adults. Okay. But the kids, 16, 17, then they go to the adults. Mm -hmm. But sometimes also the training there. But, but you, also were, you also were an athlete. You made competition on that. Yes. And from what I heard, you were quite good. Some titles. Some people <laughs> say that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, that biggest uh, achievement for, for you in judo? Like the biggest title or the best competition that you are like dreaming to go there and you, you get that opportunity. Is there like a big, big uh, top of ladder in judo for your athlete career? Yeah, for me, for me, I think the, the German titles um, was, was a good, good step for me in my... So it... You were champion in, uh, in Germany. Yeah, my age and weight category. I was uh, two times champion, and one time I lost the final, <laughs> but yeah. it was okay. Yeah, three times in a row um, I was in the final, yes. And you keep doing the competition, or you stopped? Uh, I don't know, because Corona, nothing is, uh, is it's yeah. work. And, but and in judo, it's much more contact than in, in dance. You, you, you grab yes. yourself and you roll on the floor, so... It's a very masculine sport, yeah? <laughs> don't be like that. I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't want to mess with you. No. So. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> do, do, you, do you remember or when and how you met Kizomba? 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 Yeah, uh, for me, for me, it was all the same. Kizomba Salsa Bachata was... At the same time. At the same time. Yes. <laughs> and um, it's the... I am the reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason. Okay. You were the first then, Ina, to get in. I, I began it uh, three months earlier. And also with all the three parts, Sasa, Bachata, and then Gizomba at last. Part um, in, uh, in a school here in Koblenz. Um, and three months later, we meet, met each other. And uh, he meant, oh, it's cool, it's a nice music, uh, salsa. Mm -hmm. Music, um, and I told him, come, come with me, enjoy it, uh, and learn it. But it was too difficult for him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he came with me to the uh, public school here, and uh, yeah, it was still. fun for him, yes. Yeah. And our first festival was just five months. No, for later. me, for me, three months later. Yeah. Three months later. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, here, uh, in Constance. Constance. I don't know uh, if you know that. Mm. Yes, and that was our first uh, Kizomba big thing. Yes. Okay. Nice. Then yeah. you met each other. It was on the dance. Yes. No, before. No, before. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, they, you were already boyfriend and girlfriend, and Nina pick from a, with a, a here and say, Jens, come to dance. More or less like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love dancing. It's for me, it was, um, if, I'm, if I'm sad, it makes me happy. And if I'm happy, it makes me more happier, you know? <laughs> so um, it's a beautiful thing. So I told him, try it. and. I don't know. Yeah, it's, and I try all try it and he, he got addicted. <laughs> yeah. I try oh. all the same time and yeah. I'm confused completely. <laughs> <laughs> How long it was that? 
How long? One, one, where it was uh, at the end of 2015. Oh, okay. okay. Good. And you never stopped. You fell in love. Yes, Jens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But stopped. Uh, we don't Bochata, dance it yeah. anymore so much. Uh, salsa, yeah. Parties sometimes, but Kesamba 2016 yeah. never stop. Again. Okay. Uh, now uh, I I remember I think it was last year or two years ago that we went to Frankfurt, and I remember that you were having a competition, Jens. Yeah. A competition important for you, very important, but you put like. You were in the in uh, in decision if you were doing our workshops or doing the competition. Yeah. Can you tell us, please, how important is Kizomba for you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now, now I I think now it's 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 a big part for my life um, because I really fell in love with with uh, with the culture with the feeling from Kizomba. And yeah, I struggle a lot uh, if I do the competition or I go to the workshops <laughs> for you. But yes, I go, I go to the competition. I, I do my German champion. Maybe. On this time, I, I lost. Uh, I, I won the final. I, I take the German title. And then I come to Frankfurt to dance. Yeah, it was like. It's, it's really very important for us. It was like, no, Jens, go to the competition. You have more time to do uh, workshops with us. But you were very confused. And for me, it was, for me and for Ricardo, it was like, whoa, that's very important part in, of your life, the, the, the Kizomba, yes? Can you tell us, it's, it's because Kizomba make you feel good, yes? But being in this uh, indecision of competition, that's your life, yes? And being in the Kizomba, why? Why it's so important, Kizomba, for you? It's, it's really difficult to explain in words. It's, uh, it's more the, the feeling, what, 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 receive, what we receive from you and from, from other, mostly the, I would say, the uh, professionals, they are really close to the Angolan style. Mm -hmm. Not only the dance itself, it, you have the same in bachata or salsa or whatever, but we receive so much feeling from these professional teachers that really touched our heart. And I think that is the reason why, why I struggle so a lot. And I do judo since over 30 years and it's a big part of my life. But this part and however i i can train the kid, but the body will uh, say mm, do not so much <laughs> of course <laughs> because it's it's a an olympic sport and you took it in a in a in a high standard of, of um, practicing and of course your body although you are you you made it in a professional way taking all the cares but the body is the tool of work and uh, it's a kind of activity that gets uh, disgusted. Um, that that uh, you, ooh, I don't know the word in English. Your body with the years will feel that. Get tired. Get tired because of the injuries. Oh. And for sure you had some injuries. Can you yeah. recovering for the injuries. So there is a time that you start teaching others how to do it instead of doing it so much. Yeah. This is the wise of getting older. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. <laughs> the, we have we have always this question as a curiosity to know when you heard about us for the first time and when we met really for the first time. If you remember that, yes, yeah, we we remember. <laughs> Do you also? Uh, it's too many people. I remember you in the teachers' training. Uh, yeah. I remember seeing you in some events, but I cannot place it chronologically when and where it was first. So I'm very good with faces, uh, but I have this difficulty sometimes to associate the face to the place. Yeah. Um, and I cannot tell you, chronologic, what was the first thing? Um, the first thing was uh, like, 
2017. Lisbon? In Lisbon. Yes. 16, not 17. 2017. 2016. Was it like, like 2016? Yeah, yeah really. Uh, Lisbon, uh, we met us first time. Sure, yeah. 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 I remember. Now you are speaking. I remember. I remember. Yes, yes, keep going. Lisbon. And yeah, since that we we are follow you too, Bruno Catarina also, and ASC Dance Company to to, to learn from you them. You felt in love. Sir. You felt in love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really really good. And if I said it's, it's it's touched our heart, and we are really close to that, and that's why we 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 are following. Yeah, the point is also because um, in our town we have just Urban Kiss and we began also with that because there was no Kizomba trainer, no options, no, Kizomba, yeah. no, no options for that. And uh, uh, like we met you too and also um, your, your style to dance, yes, and um, it was for us something new something special and something absolutely wonderful <laughs> for us. So nice. Thank you. So we have, we have here a situation that is interesting that I want to pick up what you are saying because you uh, were introduced to Kizomba and then you wanted to train more, but at your hometown, uh, the offer was mainly directed to Urban Kids. And yeah. there is nothing wrong, uh, but no. this was your, your first um, approach. approach and then somehow you, you had a connection to that, but then you start researching because of that first um, meet, that first uh, encounter, uh, and, and you find other things and you connect it more in other direction. But it, yes. somehow it was because of the urban keys that you had the opportunity to enter on this community, correct? Yeah, yeah. So th this is something that we want all, always to, to bring here the point because it's a fact that the urban keys and the new styles of dances allow a lot of people to enter in the community despite of the style that they want to follow after. Some of them change the direction, others keep the same direction and after they wanted to bring something, something extra. And there are people that go in both directions at the same time because they, they love urban kids, they love samba, they love kizomba, more classic, and they are able to, to adapt. And in fact, maybe they are happier people because they can connect any place but this is very interesting here and sorry for the interruption i wanted just to pop up here this situation no uh, i remember you and now you, that you are speaking in like a uh, festival in lisbon because you were we i remember even after the lesson you came to us and to me to but to say to me how how i can do this how can i remember something of that that you were the you big guy sweating yeah. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that of the sweating, it was only in the, in the teacher's training. Yeah. But that time I remember that you were very tall and then you came with, uh, with Ina and uh, that called me the attention. And now that you are speaking, I, I remember. Yeah, in like this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. why, why did you decide to, to do the teacher's training? You made the, the 11th edition back to December 2017. Yeah. Um, why? why? It's, uh, it's a crazy it's a thing because um, the start was our uh, salsa trainer uh, pick us every training and give us uh, a nail and say, when, you do, when do you teach? When do you teach? Every time, every time he said, I said, no, I will, I will just have fun and zomba, go to festivals. And we just started to learn. So yeah, we, we are it started. It's too early for us, it, yes, it, to we, teach the We are not com comfortable with, with teaching. Yeah, I teach yeah. judo, of course, but I do this many years before, mm -hmm. before I teach. And for me, it's really important to, to be sure what I say. Mm -hmm. I, will not, I will not start and for example, learn from YouTube a choreo and go to the training and say, okay, we do the choreo. It's, for me, it's not, not good. It's not a good feeling mm -hmm. because I cannot explain what's happening there. And it's the same in judo. I will, I will give the kids how they 
can go to this step. Not show them and do, but say, go to this step with many small steps, for example. Really when nice. they don't see how they go to this step, I mm -hmm. say, do a smaller step there, do a smaller step there. And after that, they do this big, big step and learn this. The... It's interesting that you are saying that because now I'm realizing that, in fact, in our community, dance community, not only in Kizomba, Kizomba, Salsa, Bachata, Tango, almost all the dances that are social dances, dances uh, we have a lot of people that start teaching without having the knowledge for that, or at least without having some tools, without having enough studies, because the fact is that we are never ready to start teaching. We need to do the first step to do the mistakes and to learn with that mistakes. But at least we should have some preparation. And yes. there are a lot of people that don't have that preparation when they start doing it. And from what you are saying, this, it's not their fault. This is all connected to our history, to our ways of learning, because you are sharing here. I start, I start sports also at the age of six and I played soccer for uh, more than 10 years. Uh, I had also the opportunity of being part of a dance school, going through all the process, being part of a dance company, going through all the process. So I understand the steps that are important to do before yeah. I ever think about the possibility of start teaching because I have this luck of receiving these experiences. And you in judo, you will never start teaching judo before you get all the degrees, before you have the minimum of years, before you have an acceptation of a master to tell you now, we can give you the opportunity to do because it's make, it makes part of your education. But yes. a lot of people don't have that lucky. And that's why they do that mistakes. So in somehow, I don't want to, to create here like an excuse, but it's just a question of lack of experience and knowledge. And these kind of conversations that we are having here, when we talk, uh, when you talk with friends, when we talk with friends, when we do lives and we try to get more people, we are allowing people to have access to this knowledge. And in order that they don't do the mistakes, at least in an unconscious way, because most of them, they don't do with the Conscious. I want to believe that. They don't do with the conscious that I will start doing this just to make bad things to the others. So for sure, it's, yeah. it's really ignorance. And all these kind of conversations that are happening, a lot of lives that are happening with people that have even more experience than, than us, will allow more people to understand that and to respect more this profession because it is a profession. Even if you have a day job and you dedicate some part of your day to dance, you should look at it as a professional also, a profession, because you are being paid for that, you have a responsibility for that, so it's important that you take it, not as a OB, but as a second profession, even if you don't deliver so much time for that. So yeah. it was interesting, this insight, due to, to what you said now, because poor people that don't have the knowledge, the thing is that, so, but they are always on time to wake up, uh, nowadays, it's easier, like products like we have, the Kizomba Teachers Training, Pechu and others, allow to compile this information. Of course, you will not be 100% ready to teach, but at least you have a lot of tools that will allow you to move forward. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I want to say here, hi to Kayaya from the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hearts and Kisses to, to Germany also, because he's is, is one of the new generation that I respect a lot. This guy... Uh, respect what he's doing, he respect the culture, he respect the community, and he's improving and he will get very, very high on his ladder for of sure, success. Sure. And he's saying it's important to have knowledge, but experience will let grow even more also. Of course, you will never be ready to start and no. make do your mistakes, but it will be different if you have some tools to start constructing your house. If you construct yes. the house with the hands only, it will take more time and you can hurt yourself. If you use some equipments, some tools, it will be much better. Yeah. Nice. If you, you, as now we spoke, you are very experienced, uh, um, Jens. Uh, Ina, you already were teaching or not? At all? Before no. not. Before no. No, no. no, no, no. Okay. Then, 
uh, as you were. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you have already experience from judo, yes. But when you did the the teachers training, what tools you took um, from the teachers training? Even you were experienced in teaching. For sure, you find you. for sure you find some connections between the teaching judo to teach dance and to teach kizomba because it's communication, it's pedagogy. Yes. But uh, we we have this interest to know. What were the, the, the tools. tools that you took from the, mainly the level one first uh, that allow you to, to say, damn, this is good. I, I will use this for sure, even maybe for, for judo. Um, I think for, for me, the, the most important part was, was the knowledge of Kizomba steps also, because for me, I, I was beginner, completely beginner and For me, it's important to, to get a structure and say, okay. But you are German. Yeah, I'm German. It's, it's, <laughs> I need, uh, I'm not an Angolan guy to say, oh, <laughs> it's easy. No, nothing I'm, wrong. It's a process like others. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mostly, I, I pick up the, the completely structure from, from level one, level two, level three. Um, to have the knowledge to teach. And I think the, the things what I don't need in the, in the teacher training was the, the overview because I have this in judo. I, I must see all the, all the kids, how they train, what they are doing. And I see all, all the things in nothing. the room. <laughs> the, the kids also uh, say, why you see me when, you, when I stay behind you? I see, I see all what, what's happened here. It's uh, like an overview of the completely room or uh, the, the train area. It's, for me, it's normal. I trained this many years. But for Kizomba, I, have, I need the knowledge. And that was for me the Specific business. knowledge. Good. And, and for you, Ina, uh, as you, you didn't have the experience of teaching before, attending a training like the teacher's training, what were the things that you think that It was the, the, the highlights of the training for you, the things that you felt that it uh, suit you better. Cool. <laughs> It's difficult before, before that I never <clears throat> teach. So um, it, was, it was all over, all, all, all the stuff, yeah. It was uh, the structure, it was, um, yeah, the steps. For Kizomba, but the know-how give us um, musicality. Also, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. because it's a little bit hard for me to hear the music sometimes because um, of difficulties. Um, but to see what's possible uh, to people and how I can trans transmit this uh, knowledge. Um, it was a good thing uh, to get in into this teaching thing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And I have a curiosity. Despite the dance, did you felt any transformation on you after the training? On me, myself. Yes. So nothing connected to dance. Let's speak about. A little the... bit. Yes. A little, a little bit. bit. A little bit more secure in myself, more self confident. More self -confident, yes, a little bit more. <laughs> yes, because this, this, I can notice now immediately, and we are in in a long distance and just talking by by a camera. But this was one of the biggest transformation that I saw from the outside, and I just wanted to to know if you have that notion, that that uh, understanding, because even your color, your energy, your aura, it's it's different. The day that you arrive, very, very shy, shy, and you still be a shy person, and there is nothing wrong with that. But the confidence, you had a big lack of confidence on yourself. And now? And, and it was something that we always try to push from you, because you have a lot to give. And you just need to trust on you first, in order that others can trust on you also. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I But it's good. 
it's good because we see the difference already, even by the distance. So we are very happy and congratulations for that. And good that you, you feel that also. Thank you. <laughs> and, and Jens, did you felt some uh, transformation also in you um, after the teacher's training? Not, not immediately after the teacher's training, but, but I think you both give impulses to, to both of us to only to, to uh, work with the day or with steps, how we teach, we, to, to work with our personality. Yeah. Uh, for example, I know that since uh, it was yesterday, every time if I say, oh, I have a problem with that, Paula is coming and said, do you don't have problems? You have... Uh, what Challenges. Problem? Challenges. Every time I say, oh, I have a problem with that. No, you have a challenge with that. <laughs> it was That's another kind but of... We have, we have an, an, an improvement on that, uh, that way of thinking nowadays. Nowadays, we think that there is no problem of having... It's, it's the same concept, but it's a different approach. There is no problem having problems as far as you focus on the solutions. Yeah. So it's more or less the same, because if you look to something as a challenge, you need to find solutions. But yeah. uh, having problems, it's no, no problem on that. As far as no, no. you focus on the solution of the, problems, of the problems, and you are on the side of the finding the solutions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when when did you start teaching Kizomba? You made the teacher training and everything. Did you start immediately or not? Yes, immediately. We, we... immediately after. No, I think now we start a little bit before. The teacher's training was yeah. October or November. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Only limit, yes. <laughs> Need to be like that because like this, it's backwards. You cannot read it. <laughs> yes, you were saying, you were saying. But a little bit before. Uh, the teacher's training was October or November, I think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. December. The first, uh, the first edition, December. Oh, December. Yeah, and it's really cold. <laughs> it was cold, yes. <laughs> and um, we start a little bit, maybe one or two months before. Yes. But on this... I will say not not the good way for us because we look what we can transmit from maybe from YouTube or from other videos, workshops, workshops what, uh, which we did before, for example, like or whatever, yeah. because we, we go to many festivals yeah. uh, before. <laughs> and so we take this, what we learn there to, to transmit to our students, but if we say we, we need the base, the knowledge, uh, how we can teach. And we completely switched. Yes. After that, After we, that we don't do workshop um, figures or co fees and take the, the knowledge from the teacher training to, to train. And yeah. Did you felt the differences? Understood. Yeah. On the students? Also, yes. yes. Because it's it's impossible. Uh, it's 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 um, really really uh, good to to know how it works, not to to go the steps. Uh, just just to do it, because in the work in the in the workshop or in the classes, the steps will, will will go. The ladies saw the steps. The men saw the steps. Okay, it works. But if you don't know what's behind the steps, the leading, the following. And all the other parts, all the techniques, you cannot dance this on social. Yeah. And so uh, we we try to, to give our students the knowledge to to do the steps, which with with, with all girls or men, which side, however, um, to do the steps, yes. and not only to say, okay, you <laughs> must work so and so, and then it's it's it works. And But, be and no. be also able. To Mix the steps however they want, yeah, yeah? and not uh, to then and, and chore choreography. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, to have how do you say, uh, Ricardo, to have tools in your pockets and to mix okay. them, however they want. yeah, nice. Uh, Kayaya is saying here that Ina is 
uh, amazing followers. Oh, like a feather. Super feather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice, nice. And um, so you teach together. When you teach, you are together as a couple. Yes. And you are also a love couple. You live together. Yes. Yes. How you manage that? Is it oh. difficult? Is it a process of learning? You are getting better. It was complicated at the beginning. How is now? Um, yeah. Yes, I think I think it was at the beginning. At the beginning, it was complicated. Yeah. Because too I'm, many girls. Too many. <laughs> yeah. Normally, normally we have more men than girls. <laughs> I, I, I must do the follow-up. It's uh, normally at at the moment. In the courses in and the also courses. in the workshops. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. But, but on festivals there are too many girls every time, <laughs> and he's already always dancing, and I'm standing there and waiting and. Oh, where's my man? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but in the in the in the class, um, I think for me it was normal to to teach because I teach judo, and I, I'm secure in that what I do. We we prepare it at home, mm -hmm. and if I'm safe, I can do this, and I and I can switch, and I can give small steps to come to there. I see what what's the problem because I really really uh, experience and see that in judo, of course, but mm -hmm. it's similar. You can see also in dancing what's what's happened there in the in the movement from from the lady or from the from the man. And for me, it was easy because of that. But for Ina, um, it's she must she Challenge. must grow with that. <laughs> Yes. And yeah, it was challenging. Yeah. It was challenging. Yeah, it's improving. Yeah. So you are yeah. enjoying the process, and you are getting more conscious, more mature, and the things start becoming easier. Normal process. You know, with uh, me and Ricardo, I consider the the fact of uh, us teaching together. Um, it's a, a very good thing because make us um, grow a lot in our relationship. And in uh, in our and personally, um, uh, because of the uh, the we teach together, then we need to manage that. Yes, in set, and we fight and everything. But no. you, we need to grow <laughs> and to, to learn how to respect uh, each other, how to respect the time of, of each other, the role of yes. each other. Do you yes. felt that because of teaching together? That makes you. That made you uh, grow up as a human being, and in your relationship, love re relationship. Yes, also. Also. Yes. Also. More, more in in personal uh, growing than the relationship, I think. But the human growing, of course, yes. yes. Yeah, because because there are people that think, oh no, because it's very hard to, to teach together and to be in love in a relationship. But I think if you, we were not uh, working together, the relationship maybe maybe we will not be together. I don't know. Yes, because it helped me to understand him and make he, him <laughs> understand me also and respect each other. It's a good thing. Yes, do you think? Yes. I think yes, yeah. It's a good thing. Nice. No? Help to, to get the ties stronger. Yes. As you already spoke, yes, you uh, also made level two and level three. Why and level and four? Why uh, the decision of keep doing it? I think it's the same decision uh, why we do level one. To, yes. to get more knowledge, to get deeper in the sea. Get level, better. Get better for, for, for ourselves to yes. get better, that was, but also in, in, the, in the teaching yes. for the class. I think it's, for me it was uh, the first, uh, the main reason uh, for doing the next steps also, to get better. Do you, on think, do you consider that is a way of earning time? Because you made the level one, you already understood the structure. You have knowledge on creating structures because you are German first <laughs> and second because you have a long career teaching judo so you can create bridges here. 
So for sure, you would be able to create the content in a structured way for level two, for level three, for level four. But do you think that the fact that you decided to study with somebody that already have years of testing and they know already how it works, it's become like a way of um, earning time. Because if you wanted to do your own process, you will need more time to do that because you need to test, you need to try, you need to retest, you need to do it again. And like this, it works like a, a lever um, to, to be able to get there easily. Do you consider that it's one of, of the best? Because I consider that if I place myself on the outside, if I like a style, if I believe in the structure and I, I have references that somebody is doing something that it works, my way of thinking is why I will waste time in trying to create something myself instead of picking up the work that other person already developed and it works and I can after readapt to me. And I'm doing, we are doing this at this moment. We are doing a online training on digital marketing with a person that is a master on how to doing launches on internet to, to launch products. And yeah. we already had some ideas and some ways of doing it, but we made the decision, no, let's do an investment, a big investment of money and time, and let's learn with this guy because he have good results. Let's mm -hmm. try to see if it works to us. And maybe, and now we already understand that we need to do that adaptation. So I'm, I'm being able here to create a bridge from what we deliver as a product that for us it works really good. We have years of experience. We have thousands of students that already passed through our process. We have already hundreds of people that teach it under our methodology. And now we are on the other side also understanding the advantage of time that we are using of not being, having the need of research a lot of different places and you just go to one place and you have everything there. What? Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. Of course, of course. And also for me, for me um, I'm a person, I will learn from the best. Um, for me, <laughs> when I feel this, for me, these persons are the right. best ones to, to transmit things to, I love this style or whatever, I will learn from them. I, I will not learn from, from YouTube, for example. I will learn from people that do that like like you for many years and they have the knowledge to to uh say what what's happened there to explain them. and yeah for me it's it's a good thing to learn from the best it always we don't have to waste the time you know and uh if you won't be the best so learn from the best yeah and you must so... learn from the best and the okay. time the time is so valuable we, yeah. we cannot buy time, unfortunately. So we just have what we have. So you know that Instagram just give to us one hour and the time just flies. So we are entering the last 10 minutes. And <laughs> Everything okay. You can say it was the cat. It was the cat. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we always allow let two last questions for the final of this talk. Um, you know that we, we have this uh, metaphor of the ladders uh, in our life. And we consider that we have three ladders. The ladder, the professional ladder, the one that you will, you will climb and go up in your profession. The personal ladder that is connected to relationship with others, with family, with boyfriend, with husband, with friends, whatever. And the personal and the, the ladder of I. So the self-improvement as a human being and as a unique person. So using this metaphor, we consider that we should have like platforms to reach. So a place to get. But we also understand, and we, we understood this through the years and by other people that have more knowledge than us in, in this area, that is important to know where is the top but to don't look there too long because you will stress and you will think it's too far away. So the best way to deal with this is to look down and to look to the first step and going step by step in order that you can get there. So 
with this introduction, and you can say in the professional, in the personal, or in the I letter, it's up to you. What is your next step on your letter? Next step on our letter. <laughs> huh. <laughs> it can be connected to the Kizomba because, yeah. for example, a next step could be if you have <laughs> a school there where you work with, and for example, you have two groups of students a week, maybe the next step is to have three groups of students. Although now we are in a situation that we are limited, but for example, you have the next step that you would like to create a, a party organized by yourself with the standards that you consider that is good for that. So it's, I'm just trying, and there's nothing wrong if you never thought about that. Because if you never thought about that, now is the time to start thinking. Because you need, <laughs> as a German, you need to plan in order that you can know where you want to get. And I give you this advice to listen. I don't know if you listen to the talk with uh, uh, Daniel Arovitis. Yes. We talk a lot about this there. So make sure that you listen at least the final part and create your letter yeah. structure. But now, like in the cold, what do you think that could be your next step? Um, yeah, I, I think we, we thought about many times about that and uh, how to say, uh, we you must go small steps and i think we we do that um for me it was not not so comfortable to, to do that steps because i will go on the top not <laughs> not not small small for small small <laughs> i will i will do a big step uh, yes. <laughs> so far so fast as possible but yes, we, I think we do that because we we build up our our classes. We we try to to um, get the community bigger. That is uh, for us the biggest part. What we are working on here in our city. The to, biggest challenge. Biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah, it is a challenge because um, Koblenz is a is a really big salsa city. If you say on the street salsa, everybody knows. If you say Kizomba. What? Zumba? No, no, Zumba. Key Zumba. <laughs> that's a normal uh, answer here. And that is for us the big part, I think, what we want to do to uh, grow up the community here. So let's, let's do the backward. As you never thought about that, let's do the backward process because you are answering a little bit to the next question. So the next question is the big dream. Okay. So when you think about Kizomba and your journey in Kizomba, or dancing or whatever, what is your big dream? The one, the top of the ladder. The top? <laughs> to have an own school. To have your own school, beautiful. And you already were giving some reasons uh, regarding to grow the community, to make Kizomba more known in your city like South City. So these are the reasons, but you need to have an objective. So an objective is to have your own school. And you were very determined in a very good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> so now you should define a chronologic time to that dream. dream. Come true. When should you have your own school? In one year, two years, 10 years, 50 years, doesn't matter. But you when? should create, I'm not as, asking you to, to answer now because you need to think about this, of course. <laughs> but you should create like a mark, okay? <laughs> like I want to, we will, it's not I want. We will open our dance studio the date X, in the year of X. And since that moment, you should start drawing all the small details of your school first on your brain and then on the paper. Use the CAD if you want to be able <laughs> to draw it. <laughs> it's up to you if it helps, if that is your process. Perfect. So, and like this, you will imagine in your brain the number of studios, if it will have a reception, if it will have a locker room, if it have showers or not, the mirrors, in what walls they will be, the color of the studios, the color of the entrance, if you're going to have people working for you or if you work alone. So start drawing all of these simple details. What color is the outside part? We will have parking, or is it in the city center? Is outside? What are the benefits of one thing and another? 
<laughs> have it there. Beautiful. Yeah. So start passing that to the paper. And then you need to do the backward process. So if it is in 10 years, where you need to be in five, where you need to be in one, where you need to be in six months, three months, one month, and what you need to do daily in order that you get there in 10 years. You know, so maybe you need more students to create more community in order that can become a, a profitable business and you can pay your, your bills. So maybe more students is the thing. Maybe to get the Kizomo more known on the city, it's some things that you need. So this, we are working now on the house, how you get there. So you need to do this question, what I need to have and how I will get it. So knowing people, knowing about Kizomba as they know about salsa, maybe it will be a help. So what do you need to do about that? You need to promote it. How can you promote it? Publicly places to organize stuff, doing regular parties, creating partnerships with other schools and other places that already have a name and you can bring something extra to them and it will be a win-win collaboration. So all these things are, are your stairs in order that you can get to the top of the stair. But it's a big difference for those that keep dreaming and those that start planning and start doing something, yeah. okay? So this is another extra input to you. I know that we have a talk to have, Jens. I never forget about this and thank you oh. about that. But, <laughs> uh, and and there, when, when you start to stand this by but, like I'm doing now, you are just arranging excuses, okay? okay? So I need to be honest with you. It's a question of priorities. In order that we have the time that you need and you deserve to that collaboration that you want, you need, we need first to get our home clean. And we are now in a process that is tough, as you know. So it's a difficult time and we are creating a lot of restructuration in our system, in our business, in our company. So we need, if, if this didn't happen, maybe it would be a good time to talk about what you want. Um, and I'm sure that this will happen. But if it didn't happen till now, it was because we were not ready or you were not ready or the world was not ready yet for that. So we need to be patient. We should not quit. We should keep investing time to, to do this to the tree till the moment that the fruit will come down. But if you do this to the tree and the fruit don't fall, it's because it's still green. It's not good to you to eat. So it will happen. But we need first, again, the but. But <laughs> I'm arranging excuses. We need to organize first our structure in order that you get all the support that you deserve. Because for a project like that, you deserve all the support you can get. Okay? So I'm really, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of your growing. Even regarding dancing, because we see for, for Jens, it's even difficult because he's a, he's a tall guy and a strong guy with muscles. With, so <laughs> I understand you. I'm not a strong guy, but I'm a tall guy. And yes. to, to be visual cool for tall people, it's more difficult because easily you can look like clumsy. So we, we need to have extra work on that. And I feel the difference, even from the lessons that you are doing of men's styling, when you start having the Afro house, that videos that you send, it's like from water to wine. I will not lie to you. You are not dancing perfectly, but you are <laughs> much better. And I see the difference in your Kizom and Semba. So this system that we are doing laboratory now, you are also some of our laboratory rats. <laughs> and we, are, we are feeling the evolution and we are so, so proud of that. To finish, because we have one minute and 20, just bring some, oh, Bruno is saying true, bring some uh, um, message to the audience, uh, what you want. A message to, to the people. A message, come on. Uh, you have one minute. One minute. I would say uh, dream big. Don't, never stop dreaming and also fighting for it. Yeah. I like this, Ina. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a big honor to have you here on this talk. We cannot wait till the time that we can dance uh, we live will. again. Cross we would do that on a Dimash summer camp. Exactly. It, it, we are now in the time that would be happening. Yes. So uh, hope to see you soon. 
Wish you all the best. Keep with that same good energy and keep growing your leather. Thank you. Beijinho. Next Beijo. time in Portuguese. Yeah, baby. <laughs>